All right, hey guys. So this isn't going to be a very long video, but um, what I wanted to tell you guys about is just a couple of things that I've been getting a lot of questions, like in uh, YouTube comments on my previous videos, um, and also on my Instagram, which is just Custom Crusher um, with no capitals, and just a lot of questions on um, mod suspension. Uh, tires, wheels, just what I'm kind of running in the setup. So I've got a list here, and then I've also got um, I've also got some plans that I'm going to be um, sharing with you guys out there. So let's get uh, let's get into it. Uh, first off, uh, if you watched some of my previous videos or one of my previous videos, I think I've mentioned it, but uh, I'll say it again. I'm 15 right now. I bought the car when I was 14, completely stock except for a um, a uh, cold air intake, uh, AEM I think it is, I'm not up there looking at it, I believe that's what it is, but uh, here's some of the, the list of things that I've done to the car, and I'll kind of show them to you the best that I can. <clears throat> so, first thing, uh, the rims are JNCs, uh, the model number is 017, and they are 16 by 9 plus 15. Um, the tires, I mean, you can use whatever company or compound or whatever you want, but uh, the tires are 205, uh, 45 by 16. So uh, that's the tire setup that I'm running. Um, what I have right now, as far as uh, camber setups go, is I have uh, Megan, or Megan, however you want to say it, uh, rear camber bars. I don't think, I don't think I can show them to you. They're, can you see it? No, it's too dark. Well, they're back there. Um, so that allows me to change the rear camber. Uh, in the front, I have camber plates that are maxed out on both sides. I guess I, I guess that side's not quite back, so. Um, but it is, uh, by the way, the wheels are square. The setup is square all the way around. So it's same tire size, same rims, and negative uh, 2.5 degrees of camber all the way around. Um, see, the rear sway bar in this car, I just changed it. It's, um, the reason I didn't post a video about it is because I'm taking it back off to paint. I just fitted it to make sure it fits. But the rear sway bar, I'm not sure, can you guys see it under here? Yeah, there gets that black bar right there. It's a, it's a lot bigger than stock. Um, what that is, it's it is a rear sway bar from a 2006 RSX. It's a 21 millimeter uh, rear sway bar, so it's pretty beefy for this car. And definitely stiffens up the sway. Um, like I said, it has cold air intake. It is a. Um, um, on the inside, not too much done on the inside yet, but right now, sorry this car's so dirty by the way, I've been working on it on and off, just haven't really cleaned it yet. Um, I've got EM2 floor match, which is the uh, manufacturer like code for this car, is EM2 is what uh, this generation is called, this body style. Um, so I got uh, um, Japan uh, Japanese uh, EM2 floor mats for this car. Um, I have a red, um, black and white shift knob. Um, I have Raceland Ultimo coilovers. I know they're kind of cheap, but like I said, I did this when I was 14, 15, and, uh, I, honestly, I just ran out of money. As you'll hear by all the plans I have for it still, I have a lot more planned for this car. Um, I just got to get some money to do it. Um, I have red lug nuts. Was that was just kind of a thing I put on there. It's not really significant. Uh, the brakes, they're high performance uh, carbon ceramic vented and slotted discs in the front. Um, and they're carbon fiber um, ceramic. I think I said that already. And then the rears, they're just nasty still. They're just rusty uh, drums. I did change them, but they just got rusty. I didn't put a clear coat on them to keep them chrome, which was kind of my bad, but oh well. Um, so plans for the car. Um, the biggest one right now is seats. I need seats for this car bad. I'm not sure if you guys can see it in the video, but, um, when I take the seat and I move it, like, I'm not sure if you can hear that. 
but like this seat, the driver's seat is literally falling out of the car. And so, and it's not like just the rails on the bottom, like the actual like cloth part is breaking away from the plastic. So I've tried to see what's loose and I can't find it. Um, so I just need to get new seats. That's really what it comes down to. Um, let's see, I need to repaint the car. Uh, the car was in some sort of like, um, of crash or something and it wasn't bad enough to get the uh, you know, a title change or anything like that but like if I close the door and you look you can kind of see it the front fender is a little bit darker than the the rest of the car on this side and the the front bumper is a little bit darker than that whoever paint matched this previously really didn't do a very good job and there's also um, there's also rock marks and on the hood as well there's also along the surface like there's one it's kind of peppered along the top and there's some rust coming up um, and here there's there's a pretty bad spot there so I just need to get it um, just get it touched up uh, it's not too bad but I mean unless you're really staring at the car you don't notice it that much but you know I, I notice it and it kind of annoys me um, let's see what else um, oh yeah, all white headlights. So right now, they have like the yellow bulb and then the yellow reflector for the turn signal. What you can do is you can get uh, white headlights, all white headlights, that take out that yellow part and you just get a uh, orange LED. So it looks white and it looks really clean, but then when you turn on the turn signal, then it turns orange. Um, let's see, join a car crew. So the problem in Michigan is if you guys don't know it's like muscle capital up here like we have detroit and all that stuff so it's all big american muscle cars so if you had an american muscle you could find cruises anywhere all the time all year round but for like imports and japanese cars especially stance cars they're kind of hated up here and so there's there's no love there's no love for the imports around here and so um and so that's kind of kind of crappy. So I need to find one. I guess MSU, Michigan State University, uh, supposedly they have a car meet. So I was going to look into that. Um, there's actually one coming up here pretty soon. Um, so yeah, go to meets. Um, exhaust. The exhaust on it right now is stock. It's completely stock. Um, it's not bad. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It doesn't leak or anything. But it's just not quite the sound that I want to go for, and um, it doesn't look that good. It's just kind of that rusty stock, you know, exhaust. Uh, it works fine, but I just want something a little bit nicer. Um, let's see. Engine bay detailing and color matching. So, the engine, I don't change, I don't plan to change the color of the engine bay. Um, just because... Uh, I'm leaving the color of the car the same, and I kind of like the same color engine bay on this car, um, but I do want to get some of the stuff to match, like the coloring to match. So, like, change, like, the valve color cover, change that um, to red, um, take this completely off. Um, maybe switch this out eventually to red, and I also want a brace that goes from these, it goes to both sides, kind of goes over the top. Um... It's kind of difficult to find one for this car, because if you notice, when you go across, the air filter is right in the way. So you've got you've to find one, whoops, sorry. You've got to find one that kind of goes, like, over here, and it comes out, and then it goes back in. And so you got to make, like, or you got to find, like, a triangle uh, piece. I found one, I've just got to wait for it to come back in stock, and then I'll pick that up. Um... Let's see, uh, engine detailing, yeah, just clean it up. It's just kind of dirty. I mean, there's nothing nothing wrong with it, but I just want it to look nicer. Um, so, yeah, so that it, it looks nicer, basically. Um, possibly get a new radio. So, the one in here, the one in here I love. I'll drop it. <coughs> so, the one, the one in here I love, and it, it's really nice, um... But, I don't know. I'm not sure if the silver is going to match the style of the car. So that's why I said um, 
may be on my list. It's just, I don't know. It just depends on how it all kind of comes together and what the final, um, what the deal with it is <clears throat> and see if that's necessary to change or if I like it. But I really do like this radio. Um, this is the EX Special Edition. So it has like a couple more speakers. Like it has the door speakers. Um, actually, it has this radio is one of the things. Um, and there's just a couple little things that um, make this a step up from the other models. Um, get a lip and side skirts, maybe. I don't... Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Do you think... Do you think that this needs lip and side skirts? I don't know. Tell me what you think. I kind of like the stock look, the stock body lines. Because it's a really smooth kind of car, and I don't want to disrupt that with a body kit. And I wouldn't get some, like, ricey thing. I'd get a nice, smooth-looking body kit. But I'm just kind of curious what you guys think. So let me know down below. Or uh, DM me suggestions or questions um, on my Instagram. Um, also, front clear fog lights. So apparently some of these cars came with them, but mine don't. So, or mine didn't. So, like, this here, right there, that slot... That can be um, taken out, and then there's um, fog lights that fit into that sort of triangle shape. And then um, then you have fog lights, too, that are ran to a switch. And it says it comes with a switch. So I don't know where it mounts. I don't know if there's, um, you know, if it just kind of comes out, like, over here somewhere. But I did notice that there's, like, panels down here. So I'm thinking maybe one of those, I could maybe wire it into that and make one of those the switch. Um, I don't know. We'll have to see about that. Uh, another thing. Let's see. I've got this whole list here, guys. I'm just reading off of it. Um, oh, a quick detached steering wheel. Yeah, so this is partly because of my mom. So I'll come out and show you. I don't need the list anymore. So... The steering wheel is fine. Like, it's actually in really good condition. And, like, there's nothing wrong with it. I just put this cover on it because it was red. Um, but, so, my mom is worried about safety. And she doesn't want me to get a steering wheel, or a quick detach, until I know that this car doesn't have an airbag. Um, and the reason we're kind of waiting on that is because... Sorry, guys. Like I said, the car was in a wreck. And when you turn the key forward... Here, actually, I'll start it. When you wait for them all to go out. So, the engine light is because of the cold air intake. There's a, a little plug that goes into it, and it doesn't fit right. So, it thinks that there's a problem with the engine. Like, VTEC and everything still works, but um, it just pops that up. The brakes, because the brakes on, obviously. Uh, no seatbelt, but then here that that one there that's an airbag issue and like I said the car was in a crash and I'm not sure if you can see it but there's like a weird dent in that over there so we're curious if this is like a new steering wheel that wasn't original or if the airbag was deployed in the crash or what the deal is but um, it says it has an airbag issue so I was just going to take it to a Honda dealership you know and they can plug it in and tell you you know, whatever, what the deal is, and then we can see, um, we can see what the deal is, and see if it is possible, um, that the airbag was deployed, and if that's the case, then she said, well, since you don't have an airbag in here anyway, well, then you could take it out and get a quick release, so that's really just waiting until I go to the Honda dealership, and, uh, and see what's going on, but I think that's, oh, yeah, that's, this is my dad's pride and joy, just so you know, it's a uh, F-350 2008 um, Lariat, and that's that's his baby, and he loves this thing. But, um, so, I mean, that's kind of it for the car right now. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated. Sorry about the really long delay between videos. I honestly kind of forgot about YouTube a little bit. Um, but, yeah, I'll continue to... Uh, I'll continue to bring you guys content, uh, updates on the car as it goes. And that rear sway bar, I'm going to be pulling it off uh, and painting it. So I'll do a little paint video and a, a reinstall video as well. Show you how that, um, show you how that worked. Uh, stickers right now. 
I'm not trying to like shout out anyone or anything, but that's just stickers I have right now. Um, I'm planning on going all the way down the window. Uh, oh, I am a sponsor for StickerBoost.com. This is this is kind of a shout out. Um, so I'm sponsored by them. I just ordered the StickerBoost.com sticker right now. But if you go onto the website StickerBoost.com and you click, um, you want to buy stickers and you go to checkout and you put custom 10 in the discount area so c-u-s-t-o-m 10 in the discount area you'll get 10 percent off your sticker purchase uh let me know in the description below if you did use that or on my instagram make sure to let me know if it does work or anything i just set it up um but yeah let me know how it goes let me know if it works um and if it doesn't i'll make sure that uh that it does i think that's it for now if you guys have any questions uh, you can comment down below. I'll respond. You can comment on my Instagram. Again, it's custom crusher. Uh, no uppercase, no space. And, uh, yeah, just ask questions. And, uh, I'm not going to ask you to subscribe, but you know what I want you to do. So, <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Peace.